Hi, my name is Alan Ridings. My name is Joseph Wager. And we both work for the Cooperative of American Physicians Risk Management and Patient Safety Department. Physicians were mandated some time ago to choose an EMR vendor. There were about four to 500 EMR vendors on the market. Vendors encouraged physicians to buy their product based on the availability they had. Some of the vendors sold a product that wasn't suitable for the physician practice. Some of the practices were pediatric versus adults, some were specialty. As time goes on, the doctors are not happy with the system they have. The system is cumbersome, difficult to work with, and they want to make a change. So how can you choose a system that's best suited for you? Some of the things that you can do is talk to your peers in your own specialty, talk to your boards, your medical boards, regarding where you got your certification, talk to other vendors that have systems that are in place at your specialty across the board. Talk to people, find out, investigate. Sometimes the best thing to do is maybe stay with the system you have because of all the changes that you're going to need, all the training you're going to need. However, the choice is yours. Pick something that works for you, not what works for the computer system, but how it makes your office efficient and keeps your patients safe. So when does the practice look for another vendor? One of the rule of thumb is basically your vendor doesn't get back to you. Traditionally, the office might have problems. They call up the vendor for support. The support never gets back to you within 24, 48 hours. This is a big hindrance on the practice with not being able to follow through with patients. Another issue that sometimes comes to the office is the fact that the system is down completely. Traditionally, the vendor should notify the physician that there will be a downtime and they need to follow through with hard copies. When this happens without any notice to the physician, there's something wrong with your vendor. A lot of times physicians are confused or find it difficult to work the system because it doesn't work exactly the way they had promised. Those are the times when you seek and look for another vendor. So how do you choose a, a reputable vendor, or a re reputable electronic medical record system? Talk to your peers, talk to your hospitals, talk to anybody that works in your specialty anywhere across the country. They will give you their gut instincts of what's the best system that's out there. Choose wisely. Remember, you don't want to go through this again because it's going to cost you oodles of money and time and retraining of your staff over and over again. As a member of the Cooperative of American Physicians, we provide brochures for physicians how to choose an electronic medical record and how to implement an EMR system. Those are available online through our website. This has been a Risky Tip episode. You can find more information on our website at capphysicians.com.